Hi, my name is Karen Romine. I'm 46 years old, 5 feet 2 inches, and 339 pounds. You know you want to... Hey, I'm Tony Dungy, and I, I work out of an office called Family First in Tampa, and I work with a, a lady named Karen who is a candidate to be on The Biggest Loser, and hopefully she makes it there because uh, we're teaming up here in Tampa. It'd be great to team up on NBC, and I, I think Karen would do a fantastic job on the show. So hopefully uh, you guys give her some great consideration and we get another Tampa girl on The Biggest Loser. Hey, Biggest Loser, it's Karen. I'm here in my Prius because I care about the community and my car. And I want to take you guys in and show you my office. Come on, let's go. This is my cubicle. This is where I spend many, many hours working at Family First in Tampa, Florida. I'm a writer for a nonprofit organization and I spend a lot of time just staring at screens. I do a lot of research, do a lot of thinking. Most of the time is spent with me doing this. I put on headphones because, you know, we're in the cubicle system so everybody can hear what you're saying or what you're thinking. And I can hear what everybody's saying and thinking. So I put my headphones on and I start working. That's right. cool. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Love Languages is going off to that site. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian and I work with Karen. I just want to say that she's one of the most amazing people I've ever met. She's uh, just so much fun to be around. She's so joyful and jovial and uh, whenever she comes into a room I mean the place just lights up so she has just an amazing amazing effect on people and um, she wants this biggest loser like uh, something I've never seen someone want something so bad and uh, as you all may know not only did she drive over to Orlando uh, to try out an audition but then she the next weekend drove all the way to Dallas round trip so um, she wants it really bad and she needs it. Um, she needs something like this in her life to make the changes uh, that she needs. So um, we just would love to have her be on the show and I can promise you it'll be something that you all be very blessed to have her. So I would love to be on the show because I really need to, you know, obviously I got to lose some weight. Okay, it's to eat sushi, y'all my favorite thing ever. Then we're at Crazy Buffet in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Right down the road from where I work. So I frequent this place a lot, sadly. Spicy tuna. I'll try that. I'll try that. See these right here? These are some of my favorite because they have cream cheese in the middle. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to get ready to get my grub on. I always end up spilling food right here. So... This is my sexy look. I have no idea what these things are, but this is like Korean noodles, so I'm gonna give them a shot. Let's see. Let's see how I can do with the... Uh... All right, that's gonna be messy. Sandwich. As you can see, we have bread and cheese and mustard and ham. This sandwich is not for me. I'm having hot dogs. What do you guys call me? Why do you like me being big? You're cuddly. I'm cuddly. <laughs> and if I got skinny, would I still be cuddly? Yeah. But think about it. Hard as a rock. I wouldn't be at pillow anymore though. Uh, oh. Now see what's not fair is that he's like got this memorized. Uh, don't make excuses. <laughs> hey, I got perfect. Oh he's doing the shuffle shuffle. <laughs> Yay! And Karen gets to push him. 
So, what are we going to do today? Go rock climbing. Rock climbing. You think, <laughs> what happened when I tried to go over that fence? <laughs> you had to go under. <laughs> I tried it though, didn't I? Yes. How far did I get up? Only on the second step. The reason that I want to be on The Biggest Loser is because I am desperate to have a healthy lifestyle. My niece and nephew Alec and Amelia, um, they love to run and play and and do all kinds of activities and I want to do those things with them. I want to ride bikes with them but I can't. I try and um, I can go a little way and then um, my body just won't let me go anymore. Three. Good job, sissy. Feel it right here. Oh, oh, oh. Good. I'll be Jillian. Get down! Get down! Do it again! Okay. Do it again! Do you want this? Say, I want it! Scream it! I don't believe you! Say it again! I want it! I can do Jillian's job. Get up now! Give me 20! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Faster! Lift it! Lift it! Lift it! Lift it! Come on! Okay, that's enough. I can take whatever you can give me in the gym. I know I'm big, but bring me on the show, and I'll show okay. you what I can do. <laughs> Woohoo! Come here. <laughs> here, pull me out. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm afraid to touch you now. Okay. okay. Pull me. <laughs> So help me, Biggest Loser, to get this body into shape, because look at this face. <laughs> Who can say no to this face? Not you. I think Karen would be great on The Biggest Loser because we love her and we want her to be around for a long time. Because I don't really want to lose you. I don't want to lose you either. That's why I need to be on the show so I can lose weight. So I can live a long time. Okay? And I'm not going to go anywhere. She's a huge part of our lives. She's, uh, she's my sister, but she's my kid's aunt. And she's very active in a lot of ways. Uh, she's just not real physically active. She has a hard time doing things for herself, but she'll do things for other people. And I think it's time that she does something that's really important for her. I need the tools. I need, I need the skills to, to help me to be a winner in this battle against my weight. So I think she needs some help from somebody else. She needs some full immersion that she'll get from your program. And she's, whatever she tries to do, she always does extremely well. She's really smart. She's really talented. She has so much going for her, but this is an area that always seems to uh, impede her from living her fullest life. Um, so I think if she could be on your program, she'd be a great fit. weight has kind of held me back for many, many years. I'm a, a musician and a singer. As I've gotten bigger and bigger, I've um, been more and more afraid and been more and more hesitant to be on stage in front of people 
and that's completely counterintuitive to the person that I am. And it's directly related to uh, my increased body weight, uh, specifically in the church setting, because when you stand up in front of people at church, you are demonstrating an obvious sin of gluttony, and so it makes it really difficult to do that which I which I love to do, which is to lead worship and to and to sing praise songs. My life is really good. I have a great life. Um, I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of family. I have so many people who love me and think that I'm awesome, think that I'm wonderful, and think that I'm talented. And um, I don't always see that. If you want to pick someone that viewers will fall in love with because of their compassion, determination, quick wit, and just fall down on the floor laughing humor, you want to pick Karen. Trust me, she is the party. My friends will tell you that I'm really, really funny, and they'll tell you that I'm very smart. Uh, they'll tell you that I'm um, extremely helpful. Most of the time I will help someone else before I'll, even, before I'll help myself. When I was in school and people, kids would make fun of me being fat or whatever, nobody spoke up, no teachers said anything. One of the things that made me a good youth minister and made me a good teacher was because I could really identify with those kids that were um, experiencing the same kind of harassment from other students. Another way that my weight affects me is in the way that I interact with people on an intimate level. I'm 46, I'm single, I've always been single. I know that my weight is a big part of that, not necessarily from a man's perspective, but more so from my perspective, but be because I always felt like that was a hindrance, that that was a stumbling block. So I always had a hard time putting myself out there. And I'm starting to love, not starting, I love who I am now. Um, despite my size, I even love my body. I just would like to love a little less of my body. Inside, I'm beautiful and I'm fit and I'm able to do anything that I want to physically. But outside, that's not the case. And so I'm asking you again to help me to um, make the outside reflect the beautiful person that's inside. Here's the fun part. <laughs> you said you wanted to see the fat, so here it is. Okay, let's see if we can get it all in. This is my, this is my big fat belly. Woohoo! So, I don't know how much you need of that, but there you go. The reason that I would be good for the show, not just good, the reason that I'm perfect for this show is because uh, I'm very competitive. I'm competitive with myself first and foremost, but I'm also very competitive with other people. Um, I hate to lose at anything. My weight is another one of those things that I'm hating to feel like I'm losing that battle. Please pick me. Come on, please, please pick me. I will not let you alone if you don't. Okay, don't use that. <laughs> I'll sound like a stalker. They'll give me a restraining order. I can't, I can't believe I was that thin. I personally like this picture. Remember this one of you? Just kidding! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I have to deal with? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my heezy fo cheesy. That's my house. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like orange. Here. <laughs> Okay. I hate orange. I Please don't make me be team orange. See, <laughs> so yeah, got her laughing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. You want me. Please. Love. <laughs> <laughs> and another next song. And see. <laughs>